Good evening, everyone. Welcome to yet another exciting session of our Draft Clans webinar. This is your host, Rakshit Kapoor, for the evening. And the destination we have for today, you know, is really special because when we, you know, talk about uh, being, you know, focusing on international destinations, definitely we all want to focus much, much, much more on international destinations. But uh, we all know, like, due to these COVID times, the alternatives are really less. And uh, like initially after the first COVID wave subsided, only Maldives and Dubai were open for us. And uh, like in the past, Dubai was recently has reopened and we are really happy and I hope you two are happy. So we thought that definitely we should keep a proper wholesome session on Dubai where, you know, obviously we know that this is one of the top prime destinations, which is currently open for Indians. And, uh, but what, uh, you know, as in why you should attend today's webinar is, because we are not, you know, cover the typical Dubai, which we usually cover in the standard itineraries like uh, the Miracle Garden or the Burj Khalifa, but we are co gonna cover much, much, much more than that. Like, uh, definitely Mohit sir is here and uh, he'll be guiding us throughout how different Dubai has to offer. Like, there are so many things. Like, when I was seeing the presentation, I was so mesmerized that there are so much more that Dubai has to offer. And also from October 1, as you all know, Expo 2020 is, uh, you know, starting for us. And for, you know, entire, for each and every day, there is a different plan for Dubai Expo. So that is one major thing that we'll be covering in today's webinar. Uh, apart from that, what are the latest COVID guidelines? Because it has recently opened. So definitely there is some, you know, uh, like for uh, from all the travel agents which we spoke to, they were like, uh, what are the current COVID guidelines? So they needed a better perspective on this. So definitely that also is an important thing which you must look forward in today's webinar. And yes, uh, so the today's agenda for webinar will be exploring Dubai, which is not usually covered, but uh, actually should be covered because as I mentioned, there is so much more to cover and today we'll be covering that. So stay tuned as we bring to you the Dubai destination learning session. And if you have any questions, do post them in the live chat and we'll be taking them up in our Q&A session. So, uh, without taking much of your time, let me welcome our guest for the evening, Mr. Mohit, sir, from Mona Tourism. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi, Rakshit. Thank you. Yaar. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And I feel uh, this is a good opportunity to let everybody know about, you know, what is coming because all this after COVID, we should look at what we are left with. You know, there's a loss in, in every direction, in every department and in everywhere. But there is always, uh, Dubai has been having that hope and, you know, that vision that you should actually go further and look beyond. So it's starting, it, Dubai has been one of the most awaited destinations where people have been wanting to go and the entire last six months, which is an unexpected uh, COVID, which is, you know, like not exactly COVID, but lockdown. I mean, India was open, things are open in Dubai as well, but the travel restriction, which is something... Uh, where we come in and we are affected directly has uh, taken us, for us, it's like lockdown. Some people are going still to the office, but not the way it is supposed to be. Like, you know, like if you are in lockdown and the other uh, rest of the people, the rest of the business are operating, you feel that you're left out. So anyways, now that everything is uh, started and back to normal, you guys are aware that uh, Dubai is open and um, it's a big news from all over the world. There are uh, certain protocols that we need to follow. So we will cover that in the presentation and we, we see how things, how, how you find it more interesting. Definitely, Mohit sir. Like personally, I am very much excited because after seeing the presentation, uh, like I recently mentioned to you as well, like, oh my God, Dubai, this has to offer. So definitely, I believe our travel partners too will be really excited to know what all is coming their way. Actually, th these things are always there. It's just that, you know, that we don't discuss it so often. And uh, so, see, for me, I'm not following a script or anything as such. I don't have anything written. Rather, there's nothing written on the presentation as well. It's just that uh, it's nice to share what is happening and, you know, have a... It's, it's a little odd still. We are doing all this over the webinar and all, but it's a nice uh, thing that, you know, that at least things are open and we are looking in a positive direction. These things have always been there. So I'll just run you through. It's just that we are not in the Indian market. We are not doing that or we do not tend to sell or even talk about it. It's all the thoughts. Once you know something about it, you talk about it. Then people think about it. They do 
and then finally when they're there in the destination they actually enjoy it and it's a memory that is created for lifetime so let's let, let's get into i think uh, rakshit we should start and then now uh, definitely mohit sir uh, what do you yeah okay so i'll just share the screen now okay so my name is mohit hatiramani i'm based in dubai and uh, we have a company called mona tourism we are all we've been there since 2013 our core pro- purpose of being there was to do something different you know not the entire regular combos and things these things which are always there so we are a small company it's not like we are the big players or you know we have a huge infrastructure no we are a small company but we had a little of creativity and you know a little twist when it comes to doing business um i do i i i don't want to really share too much about our company you know like it's like self praise but overall it's it's we, we are based in dubai and we we should be able to handle your clients in a better way covid rules i think uh, that is something everybody is aware about uh, covid rules uh, in dubai are basics since uh, covid has declined in dubai heavily businesses is back time to travel things things are in a positive direction all over cases have been falling in uh, dubai india and all over the world because of the vaccination process so there was a doubt that people who are vaccinated or not vaccinated even if you're not vaccinated currently dubai is open for you the only basic uh, india to dubai travel guideline that i would say is which every travel agent is by now already aware that you need to take a 48 hour test a uh, 6 hour test at the airport which is basically you need to arrive at the airport 6 hours in advance take a test upon arrival in dubai and you're a tourist ultimately you're going to come back to india india to enter back into india you need to have a covid test so these are four tests that you need to do even if you're going to any other country that also will create another test so these tests can be done you know these tests uh, is the same how it is over here it's in dubai you go for a test the results come you've experienced this back in december january when the travel was actually open temporarily so i think that's uh, easy um expo 2020 expo 2020 is here 21st of october it's uh, just a few days away now and it is happening they still kept the name expo 2020 although it's expo 21 now but the entire uh, dubai is have has or you know the world has been waiting for this event so let's let's just uh, see what the prices are the tickets are starting from 95 dirhams just put these are the regular pricing so 95 dirhams i mean these are the, it's it's for those people you know who are coming in like for a day to the show ki three night stop over or 96 hours stop over when you're connecting to another country you just want to take a stop and see what is expo 95 dirhams multi day pass gives you 30 days access so if you're coming in for a 14 day or a 30 day visa and then you're staying with your relatives or you know so you can do like one or two days initially and then again towards the end you can go or you can go 30 30 days you know it's a 30 day pass and there's a season pass that's 495 that's like for the entire month starting from the 1st of october until the 31st of march so that's that's good for residents in dubai who are staying there they can just keep going you know on a regular weekend basis getting to the expo site by metro is the ideal option because uh, this this is a newly built purpose built uh, metro although it connects the entire dubai with the all the hotels and most of the hotels you know which are connected there are old dubai um shake size road downtown business bay all all this the entire marina jvr the entire stretch you know metro is good easy fast convenient you don't have to really get into the traffic although there is enough infrastructure they they have built everything around it um expo rider buses taxis cars are always there inside also they have another train and golf buggies which take you around because it's a big site I highly recommend to download the app which is the Expo 2020 app wherein you can see all the events and happenings of the day also it guides you through because there is a GPS kind of thing 
So step by step, it can guide you through where you want to go, which which pavilion. There are more than hundred countries. There's a lot to talk about the expo. I think, uh, uh, Rakshit, at this point, let me just uh, share another screen with you guys, wherein you get a get an idea of the events that's coming up. Yeah, this is the calendar that is having a list of events that is coming up. So these are, there is like uh, daily shows, this national days, this, if you, if you just go through down, it's so like, these are the daily shows that we have. I think it's good. It's best for me to send it across uh, because this, this will take a lot of time to go through, you know, because there's really each day is a different day. Each day is a different day. Let me just scroll through. This is, we are in October. There's a day wise difference in, in the, in the practices and in, in the shows that they have. This is October, November, different themes, different DJs, music, live events, tech, science, fiction, business, investments, opportunities, everything. This, this is a lot, you know, there's uh, sports. So I feel I'll share this with you overall at the end, and then we, we see how, how this can you know, benefit everyone. Let me just continue with the presentation now. Rakshit, you, you can see this? Yes, sir. so yeah, currently we can see the presentation slide. Yeah. We'll just, oh, sorry, jump to attraction. So this is what I was saying. The daily, the daily events are there. You know, there, you can see as per their time, there is, you can just spend an entire day. So that's why one day pass. You don't put anything else in the itinerary. You just go to the expo and just finish your day till the end, morning to evening. Let's just start with the attractions in Dubai. So this is this is uh, aqua fun park basically it's located in the jbr beach it's a fun activity it's like uh, an inflatable uh, largest of course world's largest inflatable water park on the sea so this is how it looks from the aerial view it's like the dubai you know the logo of dubai if you if you read this you know in english in the blue it says dubai in pink it's also dubai I can't really point it out to you, but it starts from the U. That's basically Dubai written in Arabic. So it's a design in that shape uh, in the middle of the sea. And really economical, 105 dirhams. You have you can spend the entire day in the sea. Very good activity. And you see the view behind the, the Alin in Dubai is already ready. They have all these lifeguards and you know you can leave the kids. At the beach, if they if they know how to swim, it's better to know how to swim in this. Although they have they provide you life jackets, but it's good to know how to swim in this scenario. Next, we have the Jeep safaris. These are self-drive Jeep safaris. These are Jeep Wranglers modified for uh, desert and you know the the drive purpose. And you can do this uh, just based on your international license. So you can have an international license in India. It's easy, I think, the steps and process if you already have an Indian license. Yes, there is an age requirement here that you need to be above uh, 25 years of age to drive this. But overall, this gives you a very nice experience driving yourself the Jeep Wrangler in the desert. So there's a convoy that you go and you follow the leader. There's an entire guidance given how to deflate the tires, how the processes are, where we're going. Uh, you know, the terrain is discussed, briefed. It's a beautiful experience. If you, if you really have already done desert safari, this is something that we should look forward for. The maximum people that they take is three packs. This is basically based on three adults, but if you're two adults and two kids, you know, it's just because of the safety reasons that uh, since it's a four by four driving and you drive, so they, they, they take three adults and then two adults and two kids. There's a credit card blocking of around 3,500 dirhams. That's the standard uh, procedure even anywhere across the world where you go rent out cars, you know that there is a blocking that the security deposit that they take, which is refunded after the use of this thing. It's a nice experience, really. It's a must do. 
LAPOL show, you guys are aware that LAPOL has been around for quite some time and it is one of the best shows. It's coming from Vegas. There are dining packages now. So there are restaurants. So this is an attraction that I think should become like Desert Safari or Dao Dinner Cruise, how you have eat Dao Dinner Cruise with dinner, you know, and Desert Safari with dinner. You can do LAPOL with dinner. So in this scenario, you know, you don't really need to book uh, MAP hotels or half board hotels. It's like automatically half board. If somebody's coming for three days and you give him dinners like this, then he's, he's taken care of. Um, there are multiple menus and restaurant options and vegetarian options and uh, other uh, you know uh, restaurant. There's themes, so we can share that after the presentation is done. Dinner in the sky. So I'm just covering those uh, items which are open now. You know, this is all open now after COVID. So dinner in the sky is, is an experience. It's the weather is good now. It's getting better and better. And uh, lunch, dinner, tea break, depends what time you want to go. There are sessions there. This does require pre-booking and it is located near the skydive Dubai. So you have a nice, beautiful view. People who don't want to do skydive can do this because this is, is, is nearly there. Like, and of course you can't compare, but it gives you that adrenaline and uh, a hit Deep sea fishing, people who are scared of heights should not get uh, seasick because this is a long uh, deep fishing uh, four hour thing, which takes quite some time because you go at six o'clock in the morning, come back around nine, 10, you know, depending how far you've gone down in the sea. Um, the capacity is 10 people in a boat, which is good. Even if you're four, it's good. It's good to come back and, you know, they, they have a service, they charge like just a few rooms to clean, cut and grill. So you have a nice breakfast. This is a morning thing. Highly recommend in the morning. They, they do it in the evening also. But morning, the fishes, you know, they, it's like how the sea works. The fishes, the sunrise, it's all connected, you know, with liquid. So it's better to be doing this in the morning. Shark dive for people who are not, uh, who are falling seasick. Because here you can fall seasick, you know. Here you can get scared of heights. Here you can fall seasick. And this is the safest option, which is you don't fall seasick, you don't, uh, you know, you're not scared of heights, but you go down deep. So shark type Dubai, this is in uh, aquarium, the Dubai aquarium, underwater zoo. So underwater zoo is located on the third floor. The Dubai aquarium is located right opposite Cheesecake Factory, where, you know, you can see it from the outside. And uh, you can see the tunnel on the right in the image on the left bottom. That's the Dubai aquarium tunnel, so you can pass by. So now currently, if you are visiting Dubai or if you have seen the recent photographs of tourists or people who have visited Dubai, you would see that they're like, you know, the people who are taking pictures from the Dubai mall and they're just seeing the, um, the aquarium from the outside and not going inside. You'll see a lot of them in their pictures, you'll see these scuba divers because there's an entire team of scuba divers, like four or five of them jumping on a regular basis. This, this is one of the good attractions now. Yeah. So it requires a party open water diving certificate, but uh, that is something now which is a very common thing. Trust me, you feel that this uh, pass hoga, but everybody is uh, into sports, and you know this is it, it's easily it's easily obtainable also. Otherwise, a uh, party open open water diving uh, certificate comes in two days if you do the course. So there are about three hundred uh, sharks. Of course, there are more than. Quite, quite a number of variety of fishes in, uh, in, in the tank. And this is the best place to do scuba diving if you're looking for, because you get everything in a very small confined place. Uh, really good quality clarity of the view and safety is topmost. You know, the minute you come out, you can go and have a, you know, a nice meal in the restaurant. And there's washroom in the mall. So these things matter you know, if you're a diver. Uh, zip lining in Dubai, this has been around for quite some time. It's one of the best things to do if you're not, if you're scared of heights or, you know, it, 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 it's a nice, it's a nice uh, double trouble. Two of you going down, you know, couples would enjoy this, honeymooners, this is something they want to do. Uh, dune buggy, self-drive, again, this is, uh, starts from 650 to goes up to 1500 
uh, dirhams and there is no license required. So people who have forgotten to take the driving license or the inter international driving license, they can actually do this. You know, they, they, they don't require a driving license to do this. There are models in this. There are different uh, dune buggies. Like this particular one that you see over here in the photo, it goes up, up to 60 miles an hour, like 100 kilometers an hour. And um, no license required. Of course, it's guided. There are people and, um, you know, there's a team. Again, a convoy goes. Duration is three hours. So basically one hour is the drive time from Dubai to the desert. One hour you drive and then one hour drive back. There, of course, there is briefing and uh, you know safety checks and you know, the gear and the helmets. Everything is taken care of. There's communication, so really good quality stuff. This is a picture of the the smaller version. So this, these, as you can see in the wheels, you know, there's the wheels, the power, the motor, the engine, the sound. Uh, people who are aware about Ferraris and Lamborghinis will connect to this one better. But if you just want to go for a fun ride, this is a little cheaper still self-drive still no license required and really still still fun because you're ultimately driving in the desert and it's a team you know it's not you're not alone so this is infinity de Lume, which is the newest attraction in dubai which is all based in dubai mall it's on the second floor it's a beautiful immersive uh, structure like Really, this if you are if you've seen already the Abu Dhabi Louvre and you've done Mangosh, uh, if you're selling most of the Ridgewick uh, Museum in Amsterdam, Mangosh Museums in Amsterdam, and uh, Mona Lisa, you know, Louvre in Paris, this is like the thing because there the paintings and things are hanging on the wall and you walk around. Whereas here, it's the entire wall is digital and it's a beautiful show except the ceiling, everything is digital. So they have this theme. So they keep changing this every 10 months. This is newly open. It's just 125 dirhams. The museums that they are covering right now is Van Gogh's Dream Japan and Versailles. Versailles is very beautiful. Dream Japan, really, really very immersive. It's a next level, next level technology and very beautiful to experience. I can't really define this in words because this is something you really need to add in. At 125 dirhams in Dubai Mall, you know, it's like really worth it. The next attraction I wanted to cover is about Bounce. Now, Bounce has been, um, it, it's, it's a big trampoline park. It's come to India also. There's one in Bombay in Malad. Uh, but the way the, the cleanliness and the, the, the because you know the, the the it's really nice in Dubai if you because not everybody's going to Bombay. I mean your clients are based your clients are based all across India. And then if they're going to Dubai, this is a nice destination. They can also learn how to flip and they have these training sessions as well. So there are two locations, which is Festival City, close to the festival mall. Alkus, again, this is the other side of the town. A nice thing to add on, on, on your uh, itinerary. Smash Room. Has anybody heard about this Smash Room? I think Smash Room, you've seen people, th this, is, this is like fun, you know, if you have kids at home, they're usually breaking down your phones and your computers. Like if you guys have been working at home, you would know that this, this has been damaged. <laughs> The kids are breaking your space bar, shift key, some of the other keys on your laptop, and then it's COVID, you can't even go down and fix it. Then you feel like really taking your laptop and banging on the floor. That's exactly what's happening. That's the kind of frustration once you're at that level. You really enjoy this kind of, uh, you know, the tour and the activity. So you pay up. There, there are different uh, packages that they offer with one electronic and few glasses. And then, you know, you can keep going the two, three different levels. They give you a room, just smash up, go wide. Really nice. Um, so Kim, centrally located. Tap Factor. This is a, a very nice place to be in the JBR. So JBR has all these attractions, you know, like JBR has nice hotels where you can put in people with uh, beach, who are looking at the beach so there are there are two three different uh, types of hotels 
there are hotels which are directly on the beach. So you come out, you're part of the hotel and you directly have beach access. Then there's JBR where there are hotels. There's a small road, cross the road and there's a beach. This is in JBR. This is a fun activity. Tep factor 99 dirhams an hour. You actually need two to three hours to cover it, but depends if you, even if you just go for an hour, you have a feel and the vibe of it. What you want to do, there are different rooms, like how mystery rooms is a hit these days. So this is a fun activity. This is good, you know, even if you have people in Dubai, people are visiting their relatives and all. So kya karna hai? I mean, the people who are living in Dubai, they've already done most of the things. So these, these are some things that, you know, they, they can do with their, with their family, friends and family, relatives who are staying in Dubai. This is the Dubai waterfall, which I think everybody is aware. This was a, launched. It's a nice place to be. It, the hotel behind is the V Hotel with the green light. That's where the La Pol show is. That's where you're going for your dinner packages, as mentioned earlier. There's dinner and show. There are two types of shows. One is at 6.30 and one is at uh, 9 o'clock. So if you're doing the 6.30 show, you go for the show first and then you do um, the dinner. And if you're doing the nine o'clock show, then you go for dinner first and then you do the show. But after you do the show, whenever you do the show, when, once you come out of the hotel, this is right outside. You know? So this is a nice uh, photo of Instagram spot where the boats pass and the curtains keep opening and closing. It's very nice. The colors also change. The entire stretch. So this is Business Bay Canal. This is newly constructed and construction is still going on. Um, tolerance bridge. So these are icons, you know, like how you have the Millennium Bridge in London, you have the Tower Bridge, London Bridge. These are all icons in London because um, here in Dubai, they are still building it. They just built the canal. Now they have the bridges built. Now they are building on the sides. So we, this is something that we should look forward and, you know, uh, keep an eye on. Twisted Bridge. A lot of people still go here and click their pictures and, you know, they want to do that. The one of this want to be or want to cover points. Um, Coca Cola Arena, this is very close to Dubai Mall, just behind City Walk. Um, this is a, one of the biggest uh, auditorium where you have nice different, different shows. So these are things that if, if everybody is aware on this team, uh, we can also sell these tickets, you know, like. Um, there's a show from Neha Kakkar, which is coming on 28th of uh, October. But there are other many other multiple shows. I mean, just before COVID, we had Kapil Sharma show, which was a hit, you know. So, you know, that category of people who are going around with their tours, all the singers, the artists who are at the world tour, they, they come here. They, there are tickets. You can put this on your itinerary and, you know, you can really um, market this in a, in a proper way. Now that you know 8th October, you you can just send it out, you know, and we see how many people can come in. Yeah. Mahi way. Yeah. Neha Kakar Mahi way. This, this is the show on it. Um, we cover Dubai Fountain Boardwalk. Dubai Fountain Boardwalk is something which is a floating plastic. You can see in this a floating plastic boxes that they have created a platform on the Dubai Fountain. Dubai Fountain is free to watch, but it's pretty crowded. Usually it's crowded. You know, they don't get access um, from the mall. So if somebody wants to have a premium experience and get closer, this is what I would recommend. Dubai Fountain Boardwalk. It's just 20 dirhams per person. Once you pay 20 dirhams, there's no time limit. You can stay there. There's a fountain every 30 minutes. So you can watch like two fountains, stay there for an hour or you go accordingly, like stay there for like 35 minutes. You can see both the fountains, depending on what time you go. It's a nice place to be and click pictures, you know, uninterrupted. As you can see, there's, there's a boy and a girl standing here. If you want to do some proposing pictures or, you know, go on the knee, this, this is a nice spot to do it. And it's also cheaper because, see, 20 dirhams per person. And they also have the electric boat, which is 70 dirhams per person or 75 dirhams per person, which goes around uh, near the fountain. So that is something... Um, it's a little expensive. There are five people going, you know, it's becomes 350. This is cheaper, 100 dirhams, 2000. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry. E car experience in Dubai. This is the new um, Zabil Mall, has been built from scratch, has been under construction for quite some time. 
and they have completed and it's already open and operational. So this is directly connected with the Dubai Mall. If people have been dropped to Dubai Mall, they can go to Dubai Mall, Zabil Mall also. It was an eight minute session. E, e, e cart, everything is electronic now. Teslas are there. Even the Tesla showroom is there in Dubai, right next to Dubai Mall Metro Station. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, there are, there are certain uh, requirements for this, like uh, minimum weight requirement, 120 kg. I mean, the maximum weight requirement for 120 kg. 95 rooms gives you eight minutes of round and 170 gives you two sessions, basically eight plus eight. So good, good fun to, a lot of things to do for kids, basically. Dubai Opera, this is also in the, in the Dubai Mall, right? In walking distance, yeah. And Dubai Opera has been built it's a beautiful uh, piece of architecture. They have some architecture tours for like 75 dirhams and child 40 dirhams. It's a timed uh, thing. So we'll give you the time and details. But apart from that, there are shows happening here, you know, like multiple shows have been happening here. Dev Das is coming up on the 23rd, uh, 21st, 23rd of October. That's a musical. The Dev Das movie musical, like the Dev Das, those Paro and those shows. The, it's a musical, like I think what you have here in Kingdom of Dreams, it's a musical show. The Nutcracker is a ballet show. So um, these are nice shows, you know, like if you see the pricing, it is on a little, but they, this is just a starting price. Uh, this is a good experience. These are shows where I highly recommend go dressed. Yeah, like you just go like shorts and t-shirts. It's really highly recommended. Just because the kind of people that come in and really it's beautiful experience to go have a, you know, uh, have a drink and they have all those facilities over there. Dubai Frame has been always around 50 rooms. One hour duration is because it has some of the best views if you're going at the sunset time. If you prefer not to pay high prices at the Burj Khalifa with the prime time, then I recommend to go for Dubai Frame because you can go up from one side, come out from the other side, pretty much have the 360 view. Of course, Burj Khalifa has a better 360 view. But if you've already done Burj Khalifa, then Dubai Frame should be added for a cheaper price. <coughs> Sorry. This is one video that I think everybody has seen, like during the second lockdown, 2021. Yeah. Deep dive Dubai. Yeah. This is this is one of the deepest pool. Will Smith was there to dive, and uh, his his videos have gone viral all over. Plus, um, this is a nice experience. If if you're looking to learn to dive, this is a nice experience. There are certain things that you should keep in mind, wherein. Um, uh, you can't take a flight after immediately diving. So you can't do this on the last day or you can't do it on the first day on the arrival in Dubai because the ears kind of pop. So you need to have 24 hours gap. I think that is something which everybody is aware about after selling so much of Maldives. The uh, diving destination is, is, is a big thing, you know. So this is also a very nice uh, place to learn how to dive for kids. It's very safe environment. Maldives is a little open water or even in Dubai, you have open water or overall open water is always there, but this is like, like the most uh, Instagrammable and you know, the, the, the friendly thing that's happening at the moment. If people are not looking to dive, there is a snorkeling option. There is no experience required. And you can also have three people viewing you. So if there's a family of four going, one person wants to do it, one of the kids, the parents and the other people can go down and have a view of, you know, there's a, there's a full infrastructure here. Like there's a glass window all across town. You can see your people snorkeling and stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Laguna, Laguna Beach, Laguna Water Park. This, I think everybody is aware about this, that uh, this has been around and this is one of the cheapest water park in Dubai. 99 rooms, you can get uh, f and vouchers as well. And the duration, four to five hours, but you can really spend the entire day over here. 
<coughs> sorry hatta mountain safari now hatta is a one hour drive destination from dubai and you can hire kayaks over there there is a lot to do there's something called as wadi hub where there is axe throwing activity where there is uh, um, bow, bow and arrow activity there's mountain biking also there is kayak kayak double i mean i've just put a few options over here but hatta is a full day destination so people who have already been to the basic this you know thing they can they can go down for a drive to hatta and spend a day and come especially now because the weather is good museum of the future this is still <clears throat> still not yet ready it's the like the structure and everything is ready but it's not yet open so once it's open we can we can talk about it but this is something that we should look forward to as this is a new attraction added in dubai and it's right in the center heart of the city it's sheikh zayed road emirates metro station which is directly connected so this is one of these those attractions like expo metro may you can tour it up the view at the palm sorry excuse me the view at the palm is um, this is one of the tallest buildings in 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 the entire palm structure yeah and they are having the saint regis hotel coming in the building is directly connected with the the, the nakiri mall and mall and and overall palm has changed so much you know with the pointe the palm monorail the palm fountain the palm fountain is actually at the palm at the pointe yeah palm west beach is a new attraction which uh, which is very beautiful and nice place to be there are so many hotels and it's completely a new destination uh, place to be club vista mare has been around and now picking up with all the restaurants and having beach access direct this is a view from the this is the view from i think yeah this is the view from the palm um this is usually covered by helicopter tours but now you can just visit the palm and you know have have a similar photo this is the pointe which i just mentioned that there is a fountain show which is very different than what you have at the dubai mall great views of the atlantis and the monorail and that's west beach yeah so this is club this this star mare i'll just skip these because this is all at the palm yeah flyboarding flyboarding nice destination nice nice activity to to do there are multiple points in dubai now that you can do this swim with the dolphins very there are two options where you can do the swimming with the dolphins there is um, the atlantis and the dubai dolphinarium dubai dolphinarium has been a good show really practical a uh, big capacity of groups and you know things uh, has around 1200 seats so all those shows has been around but swimming with the dolphins is is uh, a good option because here you get an option of shallow water and deep water so even if you're a non swimmer you can go and um, swim with the dolphins and if you if you have family they can also view like how you had in deep deep dive dubai you have family and they want to view they can view you swim with the dolphin deep water requires swimming skills and shallow water does not require any swimming this is this is a nice must do experience because you really get to know about the dolphins and how they work and you know the water is cold and the water is salty so these are certain things that you should be aware about for before you go self drive rib boats so these are rubber inflatable boats um as you can see this one and it's a self drive so no license required and um good fun because this is also a timed thing that you need to plan it in advance book it in advance it's a time thing it's a limited slot there is a convoy that goes there are about five six boats there's a leader like one leader for five boats and you can book self drive one or you can do two yeah basically two is the capacity so if there are kids you'll have to book another boat for them 
and they cover all the entire the coastline. So all the beautiful buildings that are there in Dubai, the Burj Arab, the Burj Khalifa, Atlantis, now the the uh, the in Dubai, these these things can be seen by the sea. Self drive jet ski. So this one, as mentioned, this is this is a little a uh, little more expensive as compared, but this is a little more premium as well. But uh, this one is fun and fast. So basically, this is for the youngsters who wanted to take the jet ski by themselves. You know, those college students returning from US, Canada, UK, transiting Dubai, they want to do something fun. All those activities, group of seven, group of eight, going down. That this is uh, a must do. Like for you know, people who are able to take adventure and you know, it's a little faster than that one. That's 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 what I would say. Kite Beach, Dubai. Kite Beach, you can learn kite surfing in, in a day. They have three days, 10 days courses, um, group lessons, private lessons. Private lessons are much faster. They also have something called a standing ride, which is basically a small 10 to 15 minutes. It won't last more, but it, they, because briefing and you, know, you need to hold someone tight. And this is purely based on the wind conditions, which is usually most of the time very good. In the peak summer, sometimes it can be an issue, but uh, overall, this is a nice uh, destination. Even if you don't do the kite surfing, I feel if you just go there and spend some time uh, watching other people do kite surfing, it's really beautiful. Yeah? These are huge kites, huge. And the backdrop view is beautiful with the Burj Arab. Kite Beach has uh, nice dining options. Yeah? It's a, becoming a trending destination with nice restaurants and they, they've really uh, decked up the place. There is beach volleyball, not put in pictures or anything, but it's it's nice stuff. It's a nice place to be. Hot air ballooning, early morning start. It started. Now the weather is good. Basically, calm winds and you know that's what is required. Good good activity to add on. Glow Garden has started as well. Uh, best time to visit sunset because you get to see both sides of the view. <clears throat> Sorry. Blue Waters. Now, Blue Waters is a new island which is directly connected with the footbridge from JBR Walk to um, Blue Island. It's a 10 minutes, uh, 10, 10 minutes walk, easy walk, not very. The bridge also has a slope, so and they do have these e, e golf carts, so they charge a small amount and take you from here to there. Um, the new attraction, this is one attraction that we have all been waiting for, like it's been under construction for quite some time. And this is the largest uh, observation wheel. So 250 meters high and 38 minutes of duration. They have options of shared cabin, they have options of uh, beverage, same how you have something in London uh, with the champagne. Yeah. So private cabin. So I've just put in a picture over here with the private cabin wherein you can also have some dining options and all. You know, they have, there are quite a few options in this. Let it just open up on 21st of October. It's on and we can share more details on that. Heritage Safari. This is um, a premium desert safari, which has been around. This is, uh, as you can see it behind the second, uh, the car, the convertible, it's it's not the usual desert safari. It takes you through the conservatory drive. You know, there's a restricted area, which is a, a conservatory drive near Al Maha Resort. And uh, there are these uh, oryx and gazelles and you know, there, there, are, there is wildlife. So to experience this, it's about 595 per person heritage safari. And the platinum safari is the one which is the Land Rover in the front. So if you want an AC thing, and, it's a similar thing, yeah. It's just the difference in the car. Overland collection is also different. Uh, this they use the Land Rover Defender. They go down to Hatta uh, Mountain and bring you back to a safari. There's a lot, uh, but it's a nice premium product. <clears throat> Huey Two, Queen Elizabeth Two. This is a ship which is docked at the Dubai uh, port. Uh, this has a wonderful 
hotel inside it. I'll just put a picture over here just to show you how, how the hotel looks like because we just put one picture, but if you just check out this hotel, overall, this hotel is really nice with the uh, restaurants and the bars and everything done up. Overall, the ship is old, uh, but the entire interior has been redone. So nice place to be. They have a theater where they have shows coming up now, which is the Michael Jackson, as mentioned here, 26th November. Aladdin show, 16th to 27th of December. These are shows, beautiful. ABBA reunion. <clears throat> so these are shows that we can really, you know, market it. Uh, people have been traveling uh, since they're already there in Dubai planning a trip to Dubai, going for the expo, going for these shows, something different and nice to offer to the clients. There's even kids. And mega yacht dinner cruise. So this is a little premium uh, dinner cruise that happens. Where, where in, this is starting from 199. There are other different packages also on, on this. Highly recommended. We've already done the marina. I mean the Dow dinner cruise. They can opt for a mega yacht dinner cruise. I think that's uh, covering most of the attractions. I would just like to share you another screen uh, since we're talking about boats and yachts. You can confirm if you can see this. Uh, no, sir. As of now, I can see them. Yeah, yeah. Now we can see your website. Okay, cool, cool. So, so this is, uh, so we do yacht uh, hire, you know, which is a private yacht, luxury yacht hire. This is a 360 degree view. There you can see the Burj Khalifa. And let me just walk you through, through the yacht. So these are these are good for private uh, private yacht parties and all. Yeah, as you can see, the capacity is there. We have different yachts ranging, but I just wanted to share an overview of how things look like. So this is starting from Business Way. Business Way is having the Marasi Drive. Um, so you can see the quality of the product overall. You know, like there are yachts like this. There are even bigger yachts like than this, which have a swimming pool uh, in it, and that's also available for hire. So I'll just walk you through this quickly. And they have rooms downstairs. So that's usually if somebody is feeling seasick, you know, but usually people actually sit upstairs to, to really enjoy the view. So we've had parties here, like uh, birthday parties and um, hosting events or you want to do a proposal, you know, there's a room for people to get ready, change up if they want to freshen up. They have another, they have a kitchen also over here if, if you're looking for you know, the things, proper equipment, fridge, good for ice and stuff. I think that's about it. Let me just get back. Sorry. Uh, Rakshit, are we back on the presentation now? I think we are. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. I just feel it's good to reconfirm. Okay. Um, hello. One second. Yeah. So hotels in Dubai. Hotels. 
they've been three star, four star, there's like 700 hotels in Dubai and they're going on building more and more. But if we are looking at uh, different uh, hotel swimming pools, that is something that you can access like W Hotel at the Palm. You can see the beauty of the pool, yeah? And those, those small uh, round ones, those are the cabanas. So if you go and book a cabana, yeah, they, they have different packages. It keeps changing all the time. Like if you pay like 500 dirhams, they can give you 400 dirhams kafu FNB vouchers, which you can use over there. So basically the cabana cost is like 100 dirhams. Or if you want to go and access the sunbed, which is further down, um, you could, if you can see it, uh, the small sunbeds, you know, um, that's pretty much open. That's also like 100 dirhams, you know. So you don't really necessarily need to stay in the hotel, but you can access the swimming pool for the day. And the swimming pool starts at around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, the restaurant starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, the, 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 the bar starts at 12 o'clock. So you, you're good to go. Go and spend the day, have lunch there, spend the evening, go do something on the beach. Beach is directly connected. You're on the farm, you know. Overall, nice experience. Same way the Edris Beach Resort. This is the new hotel right on the JBR, which has amazing view of the uh, blue waters, palm, and overall the JBR Marina view is very beautiful from here. Uh, it is one of the highest pools and you can actually access, have lunch here for like 700 dirhams. So instead of going to Burj Al Arab and having lunch or meal over there of course that is an icon building and we have been doing that but if you come down to address beach resort and there's a minimum spend of 700 so you can be like four people and spend 700 or you can be like two people and spend 700 but it's a beautiful view to see you know during the day i mean i would recommend the lunch than the evening evening dinner is also available which is a little more expensive but you can't really see much you can see the lights it's, it is beautiful but it is the sea you know it's Wherever you have seen you, it becomes dark. So one of those address. Address Sky View. This is that hotel which is connected from the top, something like you have in Marina Bay Sands. Salavi is the name of the restaurant which is there at the top, which is accessible. Even if you're a non-guest, a non-in-house guest, you can just go down and have a, a nice dinner. Here, I would recommend dinner because the view from the view of the Burj Khalifa and the entire downtown area with the boulevard lit up and you know the fountains going on. It is a nice view to see and be at. And overall, the vibe is nice. You know, you can go out for drinks and all. Even Salavi is the same restaurant which is there in Marina Bay Sands on the top floor. The same one is there in Tokyo, Taipei. I mean, they have really good food, and you know, overall, it's a very nice experience that you should consider. Five Palm. This is again on the Palm. This is this is a very, very nice spread out resort. The penthouse is a swimming pool and a nightclub, which is located right on the top. As you can see in this picture, the the blue frame. That's the basically that's the lobby, uh, under under the blue frame. And on top of that blue frame is is the swimming pool. So these are nightlife things that I think you should be recommending to your clients or even staying in this hotel gives you an overall good vibe the the pathway this hotel faces the the, the new west beach on the palm which we mentioned earlier bulgari hotel this is a little more premium um they say bulgari hotel on google maps and on the website but it's bulgari so the b u and b v is something that you should that's why i put the logo of the hotel on the hotel website it shows like this but on google and everywhere else it shows bu yeah so bulgari hotel so this is the seahorse island this is a new island that they had built it's the hotel has been around but something nice that people these days was whoever is flying to dubai it's really basically premium clients you see the fares between india and dubai especially delhi dubai it's so high Coming soon, these are hotels that we should look forward to. I mean, the Royal Atlantis Hotel, beautiful structure is already being built and everything is in place. Um, but not, not yet ready for opening, um, but it looks very beautiful overall. Um, Centara Mirage, this is uh, again, 
also very very nice hotel which is coming right next to riu so riu resort is already there in dubai which is in the dera palm yeah and that's in uh, all inclusive packages are really good if you have clients who are looking to drink anantara world islands this is also coming soon this is, this is 15 minutes by boat you will end up selling uh, you know like one of these how you have 15 minutes boat journey or like uh, how you have different destinations so this is just an island on, on the first uh, first hotel on the world islands yet to open and paramount paramount uh, tower hotel this is in business bay so this has really good views of the uh, fountain to buy fountain well, it's almost ready let's see how many these are coming soon hotels so when once they are open we should have more details but this hotel also has a very it's going to have a very nice swimming pool just like how you have it in the address sky view uh, the swimming pool facing the Burj Khalifa having uninterrupted views of Burj Khalifa and the fountain really nice I guess we've covered everything thank you Rakshit uh, thank you so much Mohit sir for this informative presentation like as I mentioned earlier, like today we are going to cover Dubai in much, much, much more detail. Like we don't usually, you know, see. And as you mentioned that this is usually because uh, typically Indian clients uh, or the Indian, uh, uh, like the mentality is like of normal standard right And But definitely these are the things that uh, definitely our travel partners, I believe going forward will be recommending to their clients. And because definitely they should like uh, there was really some good key takeaways because Expo 2020 definitely is that big thing which we are looking forward to. And apart from that, uh, these various sightseeing, especially that Infinity Day Lumiere, that was really one thing that you know was really captivating. It's it's really cheap, yeah, 125 dirhams, and uh, you won't even feel it. And it's a it's a 60 minutes show, you know, overall, and it's a limited time. I mean, Van Gogh Museum. If you just compare, you guys are from the travel trade, compare Van Gogh Museum, Bridgewick Museum in Amsterdam, how much is it coming? You know, it's like really expensive over there, 78 euros per person, something, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like but Dubai, Dubai is really, you know, upping their game when it comes to tourism. Like definitely they are much ahead, but definitely with all these things coming in and all the new hotels, which you mentioned in coming soon. So definitely... Dubai has really, you know, started upping their game when it comes to tourism. And definitely they are, I believe, uh, with the with this mindset that they want to be one of the top leading destinations when it comes to tourism. Uh, yeah, they, they are. Uh, there is a lot coming soon. I mean, I didn't put uh, quite a lot of things in the presentation. We have the only Scott stuff to Dubai. Uh, there is Hyperloop coming in. The things are moving in the right direction. A um, lot of other investments and uh, infrastructure being developed overall. So, yeah, it is, it is going to be a place to be. Definitely. So, audience, now is the time to, you know, start posting your queries and we'll be taking them up one by one. Uh, Mohit sir, we already have received a couple of questions. So, so uh, first question is from ARK Tourism and definitely this is for, for Expo 2020. And yeah. we talked about, you know, these different passes which uh, are there in Expo 2020. Yeah. So, uh, in a multi-day pass, like for how many days is it valid for in total? Like uh, the multi-day pass allows you uh, multiple visits uh, for about uh, for thirty days. You see, again, uh, everything what what they are saying at the moment, it's uh, on their website. They keep changing and updating. It's best that we can give you clear information once these things have opened. But overall, uh, it's valid for thirty days. The multi-day pass. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So uh, the next question, definitely, uh, because since we are talking about Dubai and uh, definitely we can't miss Abu Dhabi because that is one thing that people usually, you know, cover in. So uh, this question is, is Abu Dhabi also open for tourists and also about the Ferrari world, which is one of the big attractions? Yeah, so at the moment, Ferrari World is open, Abu Dhabi is open, but uh, the the COVID test is required while going and coming. I mean, well, you know, you need to do a COVID test when you're entering Abu Dhabi. When you're coming back, you don't need a COVID test. So that adds up to the cost. At this moment, 
I think they should be changing some rules and regulations. So at this moment, I would say there's so much to do in Dubai. You would rather rather be here, you know, at the moment. Correct, definitely. Uh, so next you question is Russell Khaimah. Yeah. Sorry, you can go down to Russell Khaimah uh, without any tests. So there's this this is a restriction only from Dubai to Abu Dhabi as an Emirat. You know, they as an Emirat they have blocked themselves. Also, Alain was in the same situation, but you can go down to Russell Khaimah. There is Jabal Jais, the longest zip lining. There's activities over there to do the nice resorts, there's flying. There are lots of things to do in Russell Khaimah as well. Perfect, perfect. So uh, the next question is from Happy Miles. And as we are talking about the RT-PCR test, so uh, the RT-PCR test, which is conducted at Dubai airport. So uh, can you give an approximate timeline, like how much time does it uh, take for the report to come? And in the meanwhile, like the guest needs to be quarantined or what is the process? No, the guest doesn't need to be quarantined as such. It's just uh, you need to take a test and some, you see now these, uh, they are changing the rules. You know, earlier it was uh, for everybody, but now it seems that they are going to do it for random checks. But again, random checks, some people won't like it or why are we stopped? So currently, you know, these things are coming up. So as and when they are, it's just, they are doing all the testing, testing models because now October 1st, the expo is opening. So there will be a lot of more changes in, in the RT-PCR test and overall. But I think it's a major hit as uh, even, it doesn't matter which vaccine you've got, you can go to Dubai. So that, that is something that is, you know, you need to do these couple of tests, but at least you have access to Dubai. Correct. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, next one or two questions are in regards with the sightseeing, which we have covered, like these different activities. Yeah. So uh, we talked about, you know, these self-drive RIB boats. Yeah. So uh, can you give an uh, idea about the duration of them and an approximate price if that is possible to? So it's about $200, which is around 700, 800 uh, dirhams approximately. It depends, you know, if you're adding another additional rider, uh, single and double occupancy. I can show you the rates of, uh, you know, after the webinar and then, uh, but it's a time, don't cut timing here. Like you have to be on that time slot. Yeah. Whereas uh, jet ski, there is no time message. They pretty much start whenever you're going. You know? So that's, that, that is the difference, but it is a nice experience. Okay, and the duration? Uh, the like duration for... 40, 45 minutes again, uh, one hour. Yeah, one hour. Um, 10, 15 minutes briefing and then they, they take you out. All right, thank you for answering this question. So uh, next question is in regards with the hot balloon. So uh, like how much time does it take, you know, in the ride? So hot air ballooning, uh, it's a 45 minutes to one hour drive from Dubai. It's in the desert. Um, it's on the road to Alain, you know, it's, it's a quite a bit of a drive. Then uh, that's the normal road. Then you get off road, uh, go in the sand deep, and then they blow up the balloon. The capacity is 18 to. Uh, so I believe Mohit uh, sir is facing some internet connectivity issue and he'll be rejoining us within a minute or two. And then definitely we'll take up your questions. So if you have any more further questions, you can definitely post them in the live chat and we'll be taking them up soon. And apart from that, definitely if you want to share some of the key takeaways from today's webinar, like what was that, you know, main key takeaway for you, you can definitely mention that as well. Like for me, definitely Expo 2020 is one of the biggest things that we should look forward to. Uh, so what as per you is that key takeaway that will, you know, help us sell Dubai more in these upcoming times. Uh, so Aftar Travels, so your question is Mohit sir, uh, from which company you are? So uh, Mohit sir is from Mona Tourism Company.
थैंक यू सो मच ए आर के टूरिज्म एंड ट्रेवल कर्स फॉर यू नो योर नाइस फीडबैक डेफिनेटली वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू यू नो प्रोवाइड यू विद दीज वेबिनार्स विच एक्चुअली हेल्प यू टू ग्रो योर नॉलेज एंड डेफिनेटली वी रियली लुक फॉरवर्ड टू यू हैविंग इन आर नेक्स्ट वेबिनार्स एज वेल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी सजेशंस और मोर टॉपिक्स लाइक ऑन विच यू वॉन्ट टू कंडक्ट वेबिनार ऑन definitely do post them as well and uh, we'll try to uh, you know cater to them also um can you hear me yeah 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 hi mo sir sorry yaar i just lost uh, connection and no I... issue i think we got stuck no issue sir so uh the next question is actually next two three couple of questions are about the visa procedure so uh like uh, can you share something about the visa process as well like uh, is uh, arrival visa on arrival visa available as well or not yeah so visa is there i mean uh, if you have a us passport us uh, visa indian passport holding us visa is able to take visa on arrival we can also do 96 hours visa which it doesn't matter which airline you come in from you come on spicejet go on emirates or you go on um, lufthansa air france or wherever you want to connect that doesn't make a difference you can take a 96 hour visa you can 30 day visa and a 90 day visa and also there is visa extensions a lot of people who are coming with their families they are extending their visas um this is visa for tourism uh, in in brief all right perfect perfect so a uh, next question is in regards with like uh, how many days would you like to suggest uh, to cover dubai like for a budget friendly passenger see if there is a budget friendly passenger i can give you budget friendly items also which are free pretty much um parks in dubai are, are beautiful place to be um five dirhams entry charge one dirham boat charge you know the, there are just go to lamer beach the, the, you know the we covered laguna that lamer beach area so it depends really what what you want to see um in sharja they have this mamzar beach park which is like five dirhams they have beautiful beach and the and the and a park you know to nahi kharcha karna hai you are limiting yourself then there are many things for you guys also to do all right perfect and uh, can you share an approximate cost for visa as well like will it be possible for you yeah visa are different different rates for uh, uh, this one the the uh, 30 day because you have to do the insurance as well so yeah approximately 7000 rupees if if you take it in aina that keeps changing sometimes so 6800 or something depending on the exchange rate but that's the range that covers with the 30 day visa and um, and uh, covid insurance all right perfect so i believe we have covered almost every question so once again thank you mohit sir for this beautiful presentation perfect. and thank you to audience too that you took out your time to attend today's session and i hope your doubts and queries regarding dubai were resolved and definitely if you have any further questions you can definitely reach out to us anytime and we would be more than happy to help you out and the viewers who are watching us live on youtube today if you like today's session do get a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on any such of our exciting webinars so thank you to everyone once again goodbye